morning everybody it's v okay so i had to talk about it. i had to jump first of all i know it's been a while since i posted a video been investing a lot into my virtual call center victoria's voices uh check out the website victoriasvoices.com but we're not here about me today i want to talk about tabitha brown and wendy williams let me tell you okay so i had to jump on this trend so i was like let me just do a little coffee and conversation this morning and i want to know your thoughts about it too so if I'm, I'm deep into the social media world. I, let me tell you, first of all, I got into social media because I was sick of my high price cable bill. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to get like the Netflix, watch my YouTube. So my husband, you know, he started transitioning to being vegan. That's when I came across Tabitha Brown, right? And fell in love with her personality. She has branded herself so very well. She's one of my inspirations along with uh, Be Love. And in my early videos, you know, I mentioned B-Love all the time. They're one of, one of the reasons why I started making YouTube videos. You know, I'm not in the entertainment industry. I don't expect to be world famous, but it was an inspiration. And it's a great new hobby of mine. So I really enjoy it. I like making videos. And I know if I ever want to grow my channel, I need to be consistent. There are certain things that I need to do. But let's get to this beef. <sighs> Who has beef with Tabitha Brown? Like, what, what's wrong with you when you have beef with Tabitha Brown? Anyway. So essentially what happened, if you haven't heard of it, if you're not deep into the social media like I am and, and you know, the social media personalities and things, um, it's hot in here, y'all. Sorry, I don't have the truck running. It's 730 in the morning. I ran out here with my pajama shirt on. I got my husband's shoes on. I was just like, I got to talk about this. I got to talk about this before my day gets started. I didn't want to wake everybody up. That's why I'm in the car. I'm, a, I'm the early riser in my house. Anyway, y'all, I am digressing. So basically, Wendy Williams showed a clip of one of Tabitha's uh, videos on her show. And it was essentially the video where she was saying, you know, I finally did it. I finally reached a, a, a point in my life where my husband can basically retire from the police force. I don't have to worry about him putting up a bulletproof vest every day and putting his life at risk he now can you know pursue other goals and dreams i'm so happy and so after the clip wendy williams was like no that's not that's not right um i my husband you know i you know i've been there and you know he ended up investing money and, and losing money and then he told me he left me so no um i predict their marriage is gonna fail that's just a summary of it y'all gotta find the video just just look for tabitha brown versus wendy williams or whatever so I watched the video and I was just like, what? So then Tabitha Brown made the response. And that's the focus of this video was the way she responded. When I tell you she responded to a level of maturity that I have and spirituality and genuine, you know, sincerely praying for somebody, I haven't reached that level. I haven't reached Tabitha, Tabitha Brown's level. I have not. She just gave me something to strive for. And w another reason I wanted to make the video is because I had uh, my family member, I'm not going to say her name. I mean, I know it's not a huge channel, but, you know, family members, I'm keeping her stuff personal. So she called me and she was crying because of how she was being treated at work. My sister knows that um, I'm a very good writer. Um, humble brag, I am. But, you know, people usually come to me if they want to write a letter of recommendation. Um, you know, I used to be in education, so I have some of the previous students. They come to me, you know, when they're trying to get into a college program, you know, can you write me a letter? Um, so, you know, people come to me when they want to write something very eloquent. So my sister almost said it <laughs> well anyway so this family member came to me and um you know she was crying we talked about it um we're coming up with a plan she's sending me some details of everything that's going on i'm going to write a letter to one of her superiors um that same day my girl stacks who um i met with uh, one of the clients that i work for that I was working with at the time, and we ended up being really cool. And Stax is out in Vegas, but she's from New York. She called me upset because of how she was being treated at work. And she just had a few questions for me and what she could do about it. And then one of the first agents I've hired, yay! <laughs> uh, she's not officially out of training yet, but once she officially finishes training, she will be my first agent that I hired from my virtual call center. So yay! My goal was to have five during the third quarter, but I only got one, so I need to go back to the business plan and see how, you know, I can achieve that goal. Anyway, again, I'm digressing. My whole point of telling you this little personal story is that when a sister, you know, needs my help, I help. It makes me feel like a superhero. It's like, yes, girl, let me throw on this cape and help you out. So I just don't understand why women hate on other women. And when it comes to someone 
who's branded herself such as Tabitha Brown as being a woman of God, um, being open and honest about her struggles, the loss of her mother, um, the terrible car accident she was, she'd been in, how she had felt sick for years and, and turning vegan helped heal her body. And, you know, and the fact that she's just one of those personalities that I, I fell in love with through, via social media, um, I was just like, I cannot believe Wendy Williams came for her. So her response, right? Because, you know, my coffee and conversation videos are a little, a little shorter. So I'm going to try to keep it short. But I was like, ooh, girl, we got to talk about this. So her response, basically, Tabitha was basically like, you know what? I can see how hurt you are. And I sincerely pray for you. And me and my husband have been together 23 years. And he sacrificed what he wanted to do so she could pursue her goals. They're from North Carolina. Her husband moved out there with her to California, became a police officer, has been putting his life on the line every day for 15 years. And so for Wendy Williams to compare her her marriage that failed to um, Tabitha Brown's 23-year uh, relationship, 15-year 15 15-year 15 marriage, because I think they met when they were like in 8th grade or ninth grade or something. I was just like, oh no, she came for the wrong one. She came from the wrong one. Now, me personally, if somebody came for me like that, I probably would have wanted to clap back or say something sarcastic. But, like, Tab truly came from a place of of, of Christianity, of, of God. This is how Christians should behave. They're not slapping the Bible over your head, but it's like, I sincerely pray for you because I can tell that you're really hurt. You know, and I pray that you find a love like the love that I find found between my husband and I, and I am blessed that I am able to do this for my husband, you know, because your husband and yourself are a team. So anyway, y'all, that's that's just my thoughts on that. I want to know your thoughts as, as well. Of course, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how you feel about Wendy Williams. And let me say this about Wendy Williams. I've had a failed marriage. You know, I'm a divorced um, woman from my son's father. And um, Dimitri, who you see in my videos, my current husband, babe, as I always refer to him in the videos, um, so I know what it's like to have a failed marriage, you know, for things not to work out. So I'm not dogging Wendy because obviously Wendy is hurt, you know, she's, she's hurt. And so when she sees things like that, I see how it can manifest in that way. So I, I know that hurt, um, of, you know, f feeling used or, or getting played. I'm not saying her situation was exactly like mine. Um, but I know, but you, you know, I think once you heal, because I don't have anything bad to say about my ex-husband you know uh we we have to um you know co-parent which can be difficult and it definitely can lead to misunderstandings but i don't walk around with a hole in my heart about it you know there's no there's no bitterness about it so i think you know until wendy williams actually heals she won't be able to see things like that and and interpret it you know in a certain way, you know, you got to see the beauty and, and other stuff, you know, it's just, I just can't stand when women treat other women bad. I'm not saying that we're all going to get along, you know, sometimes personalities just don't vibe, people just don't click, um, it might not even be a, an I hate you thing, it's just like, ah, oh, I just don't really rock with that person, I get that, I'm not saying that we should kumbaya, all, all hold hands and all be BFFs, you know, I get that part, but going out of your way to hate on another woman or another woman's relationship or whatever the case may be it's just ugly it's not it's not becoming and when you're on a platform as large as wendy williams who's like straight from the entertainment industry as far as not you know coming up from social media it's, it's just like and you're reaching that broad audience it was so awkward because she was like even asking the audience like yeah clap if you agree like clap if you agree because like a lot of people in the audience d some i mean she got a round of applause it's her show but there were other people in the audience i saw they, they weren't clapping because but i totally understand where tab is coming from like i can tell you're hurt I can tell that sister could have clapped back. She could have been sarcastic, but that goes completely against her brand and how she puts herself out there. So it's no surprise how she reacted. But I tell you, that is a level that I strive to be at. That if anyone ever said something negative about me, where I can be like, you know what? Hurt people hurt people. And I pray for you. So I pray for everybody, y'all. I'm praying for everybody, y'all. I haven't reached that level, but that's a level I strive to be. It truly is. So anyway, let me wrap it up. But if you're watching till the end, um, July 4th weekend is coming up this weekend. We're having a cookout. So 
we're inviting my parents, my husband's siblings, um, his brothers, his sister, probably have our uh, nephews over here. So I'm going to try to get some videos of that. And then after that, we're taking our one and only summer vacation. Um, I'm fully vaxxed. Um, I'm ready to go out and play. We are going home to Detroit, Michigan. I'm going to go see my twin brother, my niece. I'm going to see lots of family members. We're going to be there for five days. So I'm going to try to get some video again this weekend of our cookout. And then after that, you'll probably see a ton of videos from Detroit, Michigan, and just, you know, a lot of vlogging. It might not be everything food, but I'm just going to try to get as much video as I can. So I will talk to y'all soon. V out.